my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and I'm a mum of three. Today's video is all about housework. It is the number one thing I get asked about. It is the thing that people struggle with the most. It causes overwhelm, stress, real anxiety around it and I wanted to give you five different ways that you can take back control straight away to help you to feel better about the situation like yes you know what you can do this because you can. If you enjoyed the video I would love it if you subscribed that way you'll get notified of new uploads. You are also welcome to join the community so I will put a link down below for the Facebook group. Come and join and then we can just get chatting in there and just feel a little bit more normal, a little bit less alone. Before I get into the five tips that I want to share I just want to say to you that unless you decide unless you choose that you want a tidy house you are not going to have a tidy house you are not going to be organized in this you have to decide that above anything else a tidy house is important i love seeing my friends i love watching netflix i like sitting on the sofa scrolling through instagram but if i have an untidy house i'm miserable i'm stressed and a little bit depressed and just overwhelmed. So to me, the most important thing, even though I love all of those other things, the most important thing is to have a tidy house. If I have a tidy house, I don't feel so stressed. I don't feel so overwhelmed. I don't feel so depressed. It helps my mental state. So I choose tidy. Once I have chosen tidy, it means I don't resent doing the thing because I know, that, yes, I don't particularly like hoovering, but hoovering gives me a clear floor from fluff and bits of paper. That brings me joy. I do not like folding clothes. No, I do not. But I do like having clean clothes in my drawer. I like being able to pull my drawer out and find a top that I want to wear. That pleases me. I hate hanging clothes in my wardrobe. That's like even worse than sorting clothes. Hanging things up. So tedious. But do you know what brings me joy? going to my wardrobe and being able to pull out clothes. So I do the thing because in the end, it makes me happier. Once you decide, once you choose tidy, then you can start to get organized. It's really something that I have struggled with and at times I still struggle now. I'm not gonna pretend that I am this housework goddess or anything like that. I have just found ways to make my life easier and to keep the house a little bit more in control. But you have to remember, when you have young kids, your house is not gonna look like a show home. Do not feel under pressure by some of the Insta homes you see. They are unique they are rare. Real life does mean toys all over the floor. It does mean dishes up to the ceiling. We can't all afford cleaners. We can't all live in a show home. So this is real tips from a real mum who struggles with real mess. Tip number one, shine your sink. I have said it over and over again over the last few years. It's taken from the fly lady and it is just something that really has helped me to, in an instant almost, take back control. Anytime I am feeling like the whole house is overwhelming me, I start at the sink, I go there, I clear the area, completely clear that I don't, it doesn't even matter where you put it. put it, put all the stuff on the side, on the floor, I don't care, clear the area, and then give it a good old clean, give it a spray, bleach down the sink, whatever you need to do to get that sink area clean. Then get yourself your tea towel and just give it a good old wipe and buff, a buff really, just to make it clean. And if it's a metallic one, it will shine. And honestly, you'll just be like, whoa, look what I just did there. I shine my sink. It is looking amazing. I can take over the world now. The process of doing that really will make you feel motivated to carry on. If you don't carry on, you've succeeded, you've done a great job, but I bet you, you'll be like, that didn't take me so long. I'm gonna clear the other side of the kitchen now. Start with a small job. It will motivate you to get on to the bigger jobs. Tip number two, put a load of washing on every single morning. Mine is done 
as soon as I get up. It's part of my morning routine, which is embedded in my brain. It is something that I have been doing for the last two years, and I regularly see the bottom of my wash basket. I have three children who make a mess and dribble spaghetti bolognese down their tops. There are five of us in total. There are a lot of clothes we have cut down. That is another thing that, you know, if you really, really never see the bottom of your wash basket, maybe so you just need to get rid of some clothes. But if you put a wash on every single day, you will stay on top of it. A lot of people will say, oh, I've just got so much washing. And then on the next breath, they'll say, oh, well, I haven't done any in a couple of days. And I'm like, well, that's why you've got so much because you've let it slide. You cannot skip a day. You can't. It really, it all rests on you remembering to do it. So make it part of your routine, which I will come on to in a few tips time. Tip number three, dedicate a day a week to do your power hour. So it's not a whole day, but it's just every single Monday or every single Wednesday or every single Saturday, you do your power hour. I do mine on a Monday. So I do my Instagram, Facebook live as soon as I've dropped the kids off at school. And then once I have done that, that is when I allocate the hour to get my power hour done. That's what works for me. Obviously, that's just, I'm lucky I get to stay home and work from home. If you work, find another time in the week. Or if Monday just doesn't work for you because maybe your children go to nursery on a Wednesday, so Wednesday's a better day for you to fit that in, fit it in around what works for you. But one day a week, dedicate an hour to get the basics done. Those basics for a power hour, I will list them down below, but it is give everywhere a good hoover. It does not mean like really under the sofa, pull the sofa out, pull the... it's just like a good, like the whole house, just give it a once over. Second thing is to give everywhere a dust. Again, don't have to like dust like every single nook and cranny but just like the main surfaces so I'll give the coffee table a wipe down or dust like all the photo frames on my sideboard on the bookshelf the DVDs just give it a once over I will clean all the mirrors in the house it's ridiculous how dirty they get in just one week mainly at children's level where they like touch all of the mirrors but I give them a wipe down every single week I strip the beds I don't make them again because I think it's good to air the beds so I'll strip the beds and then later on that day sometimes in a panic because it gets to bedtime I'm like oh my god I've forgotten to do it but yeah later on in the days when I put them back together again but in the in that power hour is when I strip all the beds down I have hardwood flooring everywhere so I mop my floors as well but you might just have to hoover and then maybe just mop the kitchen and the bathroom but if your house is like mine and it's just hardwood everywhere then that is when you just give it a once over and then lastly I empty all of the bins and again I just think Obviously the kitchen fills up, but even just around the house, like the kids will have blown their nose 600 times and filled up their bedroom bin or whatever, I don't know. But yeah, that is my list. Every single Monday, I allocate an hour and I get those jobs done. So to recap, Tip number one was shine your sink. Tip number two was put a wash on every single morning or evening, whatever, once a day, once a day. Tip number three, allocate a day a week to do your power hour. Tip number four is my favorite, favorite tip, is use timers. Timers are amazing because they motivate you. There's some like built in competitive mode that as soon as there's a timer, you're like, oh, what can I get done? What can I get done? So set yourself timers. I work to 15 minute timers. So if I am not really particularly feeling motivated, I'll put a timer on, I'll put some music on as well, and I will get the job done. Secondly, timers are great when you don't make good use of your time. So for example, this morning, before my Instagram live, I had 25 minutes. Now, sometimes I will find myself sat on the sofa thinking I've got 25 minutes, I might as well just look at my phone and then, oh my God, it's time. And I've not made any use of my time. And the reason is, is because I don't wanna run over. I don't wanna start a project before 
I'm due to do something because I don't want to be late or like if I'm going somewhere I'll waste away the day because I'm like well I, you know I'm going out later I just you know and I just get a bit anxious and I won't do anything set yourself a timer if you know at three o'clock you have to go and get the children and you find it's quarter to three don't just waste your time set yourself a timer for 10 minutes so you've got that five minute window of like, right, calm myself down and get my shoes and coat, whatever. 10 minutes, what can you achieve in 10 minutes? And I can guarantee you, you will surprise yourself with the amount that you can get done in just 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Set yourself timers. It's also really good for children. I use it a lot. If I feel like they need some like a kick up the bum, which is most of the time, I will set children 10 minutes to music to sort that pile out children are rubbish at seeing mess but if you make them a pile of all the mess then they can see the pile go down 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 pick some pick up something from the pile put it away pick up something from the pile put it away you have 10 minutes to do it off you go and we do it every single night before bed we have a 10 minute tidy up the whole of us as a family timer goes on music goes on the rooms go back to reset. Tip number five, routines. I don't think I'd get anything done if I didn't have routines. And like I said before, they are imprinted in my brain. I know what my routines are now. So I know as soon as I get up in the morning, I get up, I make my bed. That is the first thing I do. It's just part of my routine. I get dressed. I clean my teeth. I clean the sink. I clean the toilet. I come back into my bedroom. I get myself some washing and I take it downstairs and put a load on. It is something I do automatically. Then as I'm making breakfast, I unload the dishwasher that will have been put on the night before from my evening routine. Then I will put the dishes in for breakfast because it has already been unloaded and is ready for the day. I have my Monday morning routine is my power hour. I know that on Wednesdays is when I do meal, my meal planning. I know that every single evening I have my evening routine where I turn the dishwasher on, I will shine my sink, I will do my 10 minute tidy up. These are things that are just part of my day now, it's who I am and it gets the job done. I have tried a lot of routines over the years, I've taken bits that I like and forgotten the rest and I've made my own planner. So you are welcome to download my planner, go and use that, take the bits you like, skip the bits that you don't. You might like all of it like I do. I made it so that it would work for me. Use the planner, get yourself routines and it will make life easier. Have a great day and I will be back next week with another upload. Bye.